All right. Hello, hello. Um, just wanted to make a quick video to show everybody how to use this impulse response recording that I made at uh, Radio Varna so that you can, you know, as we start mixing our projects, if you want to add additional instruments like logic instruments or, or some of your own sound libraries, you can basically, I took a reverb print of the sound stage at Radio Varna so that you can use that and I'll show you how to put it in uh, the Space Designer plugin in Logic so that you can basically recreate the reverb of that room for any of the instruments you guys decide to add later on. Um, and you know you can do this with any space. Now, when, now once you watch this video you'll know how to do this with any space. It's using just the you know the free plugins that come in with Logic doesn't cost anything at all. It's very easy and you can build up a nice uh, library of reverbs, like custom reverbs that, you know, emulate real spaces. So here we go. All right. So basically what we have here on the screen is a waveform of Annie and Ksenia who kindly uh, donated their services during their lunch break along with Wouter and Roberto who helped out as well. Uh, basically I just recorded I put the mic in the center of the room, like basically where the conductor stands, and I had Annie and Ksenia stand in the far corners of the room, uh, essentially where like the piano is and where the timpani is currently set up. So I had them clap, you know, together in sync a few times, and that's what we have here, this, uh, this waveform. So all we do with this now in order to, <clears throat> excuse me, in order to make this into an impulse response, and use it in the Space Designer plugin is we just want to actually first we're going to zoom in and we're just going to take one of these claps uh, this is a good one right here so we'll just select it and you basically you want to try and get the actual transient plus as much of the tail as possible so we're going to select that boom clip it off as its own separate clip and we're basically just going to bounce this out as an audio file so we command B here's our bounce window you just want to make sure you're bouncing this out as a 24-bit 48k wave file all right so we do that boom and then you know name it something I'll just name this Varna radio sound stage and click bounce boom so that has now bounced out to an audio file so all we do now is we come to another track and we're going to put our space designer plugin on that track so we have an instance of space designer there now all we got to do is go get that little audio file and you can see here in the uh, sound designer window, you can see there's it's all of these reverbs in sound designer are based off of these impulse responses. So all you do to add this one that we made is take that audio file right here, the radio radio varna sound stage dot wave, and we're just going to drag it into this onto the the window of the uh, of the Space Designer plugin, and boom, you see the waveform change. This is now that little that one little clap that we recorded, and now you can sort of you can manually adjust how it tails off, and you can you know you can tweak it however you want. But basically, this is a essentially a reverb print of the Varna soundstage space. So, um, <clears throat> real quick, I will put. I'll find a, a loop here um, and see what it sounds like. Um, so let's take a... So that's a basically just a you know a stock loop from uh, from from logic. So I'm gonna take that loop and drag it onto that same track where we have that instance of sound designer and turn that track off turn this one on and now there's that that violin loop 
And now we're going to go into, we've got Space Designer on that track. We've got our Varna Radio IR loaded up. And I'm just going to sort of A-B it and turn it on and off so you can hear the difference. So here we go. You can definitely hear the difference. It needs a little tweaking still, but again, you can tweak it how you want, uh, you know, within Space Designer and get the exact sound you really, really want. Um, and then you, of course, once you've got it how you want it, you just go in and save as, and you can give it a name. I'll go ahead and give this one Barna Soundstage. Boom. And now you have that as one of your presets that's available to you on any other future projects you do or if you come back to any of your uh, recordings from here at the uh, Film Scoring Summer Workshop. So again, that's how easy it is. It's real quick, it's real easy. You can basically make voice prints or not, rather reverb prints of any space you want and add them to your own personal uh, library of reverbs. So that's how it works, guys. Thanks very much, and uh, again, thank you to Debbie Smith and uh, Ksenia and Annie and Roberto and uh, everybody else. So enjoy, and uh, again, I'll make these available to you uh, somehow, probably through the Facebook group. All right, take care.